I greet you, YouTube family. Welcome to this video. We will be here from Correct Homes and Properties. And in this video, I am driving straight to a very hot deal. A very good deal for someone who is really, really interested and ready to take action on owning their own property, owning their own house in Lagos in this 20. 24 and i said 2024 because of course we are 2024 but this deal is not going to last long we already have a lot of people on it but you know as it is in lagos first come first pay first get so i'm going to show you this house on monastery road it is a carcass building i mean the structures are already in place the only thing left is to uh, finish up the interior and put in your furnitures and whatever it is you want to have in the house and i think it's a good deal in this time in lagos depend as things are going in our country right now with the fluctuating price of cement the constant increase in the price of building material so if you get a deal like this instead of buying a house instead of buying a land to want to build your own house or uh, buying a house that they will be telling you later to come and add money because uh, the price that was the house was costed that is not it's not enough to build the house again deals like this makes perfect sense this is monastery road and if you don't know where monastery road is monastery road is on behind shop right that shop right side is Shongotelo. that is where we call monastery road and the reason why it's called monastery road is because there is a monastery like a monk uh, catholic stuff at just the end of the road so that's why the, the road is named after that uh, monastery uh, catholic stuff so where we have i think that is where priests and uh, catholic uh, priests and their reverence and their fathers are, are trained and educated so that's why this road is called monastery road and it is in shongotedo shongotedo is after the Aja Bridge in Leki area of Lagos. So here is the entrance into the area and after some interrogations from the security men at the main gate, we are allowed into uh, the premises. So we drive a little down, then we get to where we are going exactly. So just by the road here, we have Jardine's estate phase one fully inhabited as it just by that left side that is the phase one but this is not where we are coming into we are going into the phase two and the things that apply in the phase one are the things that will apply in the phase two in terms of their service charge which i think is like 300,000 naira per year if you divide that by its breath that is not more than a six to eight thousand naira per month and there's light but you can also bring in your generator and whatever it is you want to power your 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 appliances with aside that there's also uh, aside that nothing else to really pay again than just use and you know as things arises if you if there's a need for any kind of contribution just to make your environment more okay for you then you 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 know of that so this is Geraldine's estate phase two just by the monastery road is the phase one which is uh, fully occupied and this is the phase two and in this phase two is where we have this beautiful terrace duplex three bedroom terrace duplex that i am telling you about just look at the structure very modern beautiful structure uh, the front will park at least two cars conveniently whether you have a suv or a salon car that will park well and inside this compound we also have apartments which are already bought. Um, people are finishing up their apartments. It comes with children's playground. So inside here, you have everything that you need for life and for enjoyment. It's not. Uh, it, it's an. It's an estate that was well planned, well built. You can see the spaciousness. Every of the uh, terrace duplexes comes with their own uh, bottle to for their own water. You can see the children playground there. All these that you see, all these high-rise buildings are apartments and they are all bought. They are all bought. So people are just finishing up. The style for this estate is to build carcass and let finish people finish up to their taste. This is one of the ways that you can really do 
affordable housing in Lagos. That's the truth. If you're not going to use alternative building materials like bamboo and laterite, which we call mud, then you have to just do a uh, carcass and let people finish up. It's the same style for choice garden estate in Abidjo, and that place is also fully occupied. So I'm just giving you this intro so you know that was the idea for the house. It's not like this person did not finish paying and uh, they got the house like that. So it is the style of the estate. Build beautiful structures, finish up the outside, and let people come and finish up the inside. A lot of people are also finishing up their own as I speak to you now. And this is the opportunity to own your own uh, building in this house. So there I am. The Abu, Mr. Abu of Correct Homes, taking you inside. As you can see, very massive, massive, massive sitting room. Uh, your TV is facing that direction. That was, that, that was what I was trying to just show in that video. And you can see the good amount of sunlight that comes into the place. You have your visitor's toilet there. From the visitor's toilet, then you have that space where you just walk into to your dining area. That is where you eat whatever it is you have cooked. You eat it there and where is the eating coming out from the food is going to be coming out from this place which is your kitchen you can see that the kitchen is wide enough and nice meals will be cooked from this kitchen then it has a store the beautiful part is that this store is very big that store is big where you have you can design it like a pantry i saw a video online one time where somebody designed a store and the way the store is designed itself for people's sitting room are not designed like that so that is the ball way there and this is the BQ. It also comes with a BQ where you can have your staff or whoever you don't want to have access into your main house can just stay here or some kind of a security personnel can just have that space to themselves. Then from here we go upstairs. And what I like is that the steps are easily uh, used. They are at least 1.5, which is the agreed uh, length for steps the it is easy to climb that is what i mean then you go straight into one of the rooms which is very very sizable look at that very very sizable so rather than hanging your ac on the wall for that room you can just put it in that small bank on here you can the size of the window so you have good sunlight in this room i like the use of windows in this house and look at this again this is another room very massive room look at that very massive room then you can have good sunlight to from this room everything has been put in place where your ACs are going to be coming through all the old uh pipes for the wiring are going to be coming through but there are no wires inside yet all the old socket spaces has been done you will probably not be baking any wall except you want to bring some other kind of modernity into uh, this place then we move from here to the master's bedroom which is your gag pata pata of them all. You can see the size of the master's bedroom and it's overlooking a balcony. Then you have good direct sunlight from outside. If you want, you can just open this door anytime in the evening and you have fresh breeze blowing into your house. This will take any kind of size of bed that you want and look at the size of the bedroom for the master's bedroom. You can see that it is built with modernity in mind so all this you're seeing now will cost you just 40 million naira and with another 15 to 20 million you'll fix it up bearing in mind that you're not buying too much cement again with the cement you will need will just be to flood the place and tile it depending on what uh, you want the the walls are already uh, they're already plastered what you'll be needing is just screeding you bring in a good engineer and pop you screed you pop then you buy your uh, toilet materials, your cabinet for the kitchen, you fix that up. It's a good massive space. It's not a house that is choking. It has a lot of space. It's a very roomy house, you understand? Very roomy house. So just for 40 million naira, you get this. Give me a call. 